Welcome back to the Ultimate Cleveland Sports Show here on WKYC Channel 3. Guys, uh, Mark Schlereth, a well-respected veteran player in the NFL, had a great career. He's been in the media for a long time. But he unloaded on Jerry Judy when Jerry Judy got traded to the Browns. Said, amongst other things, that the Browns should not have traded for him. He called him a bust. He was very insulting about Jerry Judy. Well, Jerry Judy did not respond initially, and Jerry Judy has in the past, as we know with the Steve Smith situation, has responded mm -hmm. to criticism. Uh, finally, yesterday, uh, he, Jerry Judy at least saw it for the first time, and then he posted a bunch of tweets responding to Mark Schlereth. Here's one of them, one, one of the clean ones. There was a lot of cursing that we don't want to put up there. So you all got to stop listening to fake... <laughs> I don't know what that next was. Fake that mean? NFL gurus. They don't even have <coughs> access to real film. They're on YouTube watching the games. It was one of the only clean exchanges. Yeah. That now, that's probably not true when it comes that, that Mark Schlereth is not watching film. He probably is. However, I'll say this. This is a subject, one of two big subjects in sports talk that I have really changed my mind off about in the last couple of years. Uh, one of them is giving players another chance when they've done things off the field. I used to be very much against that, and I've changed my mind. And this is another one. I always thought this was stupid for players to do, go back at somebody when they get attacked. I always thought it was just a bad choice by the player. And maybe it is a bad choice. But ultimately, I believe, well, I have no problem with Jerry Judy going after Mark Schlereth, especially because Schlereth, part of the attack was personal. If Schlereth was just critical of his game, maybe I wouldn't have liked because... Judy made it personal, too, <laughs> and had he made it personal without Schlereth made it personal, without Schlereth making it personal, I probably would have had a problem with it. But once Schlereth made it more than just about football and made it personal, I don't have a problem with Judy. Now, he can't fight with everybody. That's probably not a great idea. Mm -hmm. But Schlereth is a known quantity, and, you know, people pay attention to him as opposed to just random fans. If he was fighting with random fans, I'd say, eh, yeah. what's the point? But if it's somebody in the NFL fraternity attacking you, I got no problem with it, guys. What say you? Man, it's fair season. It's open season, man. You know how many you know how many lames are in the media? Like, you know how many really scorned people are in the media? Type as we were talking off air, you know how many guys just come off as as get off my, my, my lawn guys when it comes to the next generation? And a lot of it is just jealousy, to be honest with you. Like Jerry Judy just signed a contract and he makes more money than all the best players ever made back in the day. Mm. And you can't help but look at them contracts and just shirk back like that. Hey, man, he getting that type of money. But my thing is, you know, this is a free speech type country. At the end of the day, if you're a big boy, you can put your big boy britches on and you go after somebody. Don't be, don't be surprised and clutch your pearls when they say something back. At the end of the day, you ask for the smoke. And we all humans. These people got families, we people got <laughs> kids, and they're human beings. Human beings, if you punch me in my face, I'm not gonna say, everybody ain't gonna say kumbaya. They might wanna actually do something back. So sometimes you gotta watch what you say. I remember before, we tell you we're really quickly, back in the day, who was the guy that used to, I think Jim Rome called Chris Everett, <laughs> Jim Chris Everett, Chris Everett. Yeah. That ain't what his mama made, named him, and he wanted to fight him. It's At the end of the day, be ready to stand up on when you said, and people got, a, uh, got the right to say something back, Tyvis. Yeah, I mean, I don't have a problem with it at all. I think you got to stand up for yourself, you know. People are going to be critical of you, and that's cool, you know. If you watch the tape and you got a totally different opinion about somebody, all right, that's fine. But if you take it, make it personal, that's where it's like, all right, yeah. I got a problem with that. As a former, as a player, I never really, I, I don't go back and forth with fans. Like, that yeah. wasn't my thing. I don't do that at all. Yeah. Um, I, my, the only opinion that mattered to me was my teammates and my coaches. Um, but I have no problem with Jerry Judy doing what he did because because he's probably tired of that narrative. You know, everybody's been saying the same thing. Now, I will say the best thing to do is to change it, is to go out there and have a really productive season and show everybody why you earned that money, why you deserve to have the bag. Um, but Mark Schlereff, you being an OG and you being a, what's supposed to be a big brother, that's not the way to do that. Like, you don't go on social media and do something like that. If you have a problem with somebody, it's so easy for you to reach out to them Pub, uh, privately and then discuss how you feel privately. Right. So I think that he should have handled it totally different. And Schlereth's job is to give opinions about players. Right. And if he's critical of his performance on the field, that's fair. And he was as part of that. Mm -hmm. But he went to the point where I agree that he made it personal. And to me, at that point, it's fair game. And
you know, players, we're all emotional, right? Yeah. And, and at times, you know, even more emotional than we all should be. Uh, again, Jerry, but you said the most important thing in the end, Divis. The only way Jerry Judy will shut up the haters is by performing on the field.